is. But, I mean, it works I wonder both ways. if you'd have always had that. It's just that now it's more immediate. Perhaps. But I think it, it works both ways as well with, like, positive comments because I feel like you have to be very careful with taking on board negative comments as well as positive comments because you then rely on the affirmation of your fans and, and exterior people. Across the UK, this is BBC Five Live. Five Live, in short. Next on In Short, according to a Five Live poll, more than a third of Premier League football fans regularly watch matches online via unofficial streams. I was presenting the Five Live Daily programme earlier this week and we had a huge response from you to this story. Uh, the streams are illegal and broadcasters are determined to stop people from watching them after average viewing on Sky's live TV channels fell quite a bit, 14% last season. Here's Five Live listener Dave speaking to Jim Taylor on Five Live Daily. I think the law is a bit grey in, in um, this area. I think it needs to be clarified for everyone for people streaming included because I think if people knew that they were definitely breaking the law they'd think twice about it. The Premier League has a product the TV companies pay an absolute fortune billions of pounds for the right to show that product and then sell that to their customers and that by not paying them for that you're stealing football from them you're stealing their product. Yeah you could say that but they still have their product We've not taken it away, we've just viewed their product. But there could be somebody two doors down in from you who's getting the exact same product you're getting. They're paying, you know, 50, 60 pound a month and you're not paying anything for it. Is that fair? Um, if I didn't watch that, pro that football match the way I'm watching it, they would still have to pay that money, wouldn't they? They might have to pay a bit less. If everybody paid what they were supposed to pay, then perhaps the price would come down a bit. Do you believe that? This is not going to make a difference to Sky. Not in the grand scheme of things. Do you worry that your kids are growing up thinking that they don't have to pay for things? That everything is out there free if, if you know what you're doing? My kids already think that they don't have to pay for things. <laughs> they well, at some point they're, they're going to learn that they do have to pay for things, but you're sending the message that if you know your way around the system, you can get things for free. I, I don't want them to break the law, no. And... So you want to see somebody prosecuted for doing what you're doing? I don't want to see anyone prosecuted. That's but that would, then, that would then tell you that what you're doing is wrong. I think it would send, send out a warning. Um, I think a lot of people would think twice about it. I'd stop. I'd, I'd definitely go to the pub. Missus won't be happy about it, but I, I'd, I'd be all right with it. And for the price that I paid to Sky, I could get myself a few beers, watch the footy and come home. So you're almost challenging them in a way to say, go on, if you think this is so bad, take someone to court for it and we'll, and we'll look again at what we're doing. <sighs> no, that's not what I'm doing at all. That's how you're perceiving it. If they want to do that, let them do that. I'll stop. Many more might, many more might not. And staying on football, it was a busy old week for some Premier League clubs as the transfer window officially opened for the summer. Arsenal were one of the clubs involved. They confirmed Andre Lacazette as their new club record signing. Uh, he's pretty useful. The Frenchman scored 37 goals in all competitions for Lyon last season. And here's the French football journalist Julien Laurence singing the praises of the striker on Five Live Sport. I think it's a good signing. I think it's a very good signing for, for many reasons. Not just for spending the money and, you know, in excess probably of 53 million pounds, 60 million euros, Paris included. He's 26 years of age. And someone was telling me yesterday, the first time that Gilles Grimondi went to watch Alexander Gilles Grimondi, who the former Arsenal player, who is the, the French scout for Arsenal, the first time he went to see Alexander Lacazette uh, on behalf of Arsene Wenger and Arsenal, was 10 years ago when Lacazette was 16 and already then Arsene Wenger had you know had interest in him and, 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 and for those 10 years they've looked at him so many times year after year not always convinced sometimes it was a yes sometimes it was mm, we're not sure give him a bit more time let's wait a little bit more and this summer finally Wenger is convinced 
that this is the right time for him to come to Arsenal, that finally he's matured enough, he's improved enough, he's, his game all around has improved massively last, last night. And James was a bit negative because, like I said, broke Roma's heart and James's heart in the Europa League last season with an incredible performance in the first leg, especially Lyon, and a fantastic goal to seal the win at the end. But, and, and Wenger... Last summer was not so sure, the summer before was not so sure, but this summer he showed that Lacazette can bring something to the club.